Hello, everybody. Welcome to you. Happy Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend, a productive weekend. Happy autumn. Autumn happened over the weekend. It's now fall. It's official. The leaves have turned. I assume they've all turned and they've dropped on the ground wherever you are. Maybe it's a little more gradual than that. We are so happy to be having a second chance week. We are so happy to have a TV-themed week. And I was so happy to see everybody talking about their favorite 70s TV shows, which, of course, we asked you in the push notification. Here is what you were saying. Kay Naylor said Chips. Sandra said The Brady Bunch, Texas Tigress loved Alias, Smith & Jones, Old Western, Ohio State Forever loves The Partridge Family, Maxi Multigamer loved The Creature, Double Feature, Tiffany said All in the Family, Sha Kennedy said The Hulk, Superwoman LaDonna said Wonder Woman. By the way, a lot of these shows that people are saying are their favorite, a lot of them are going to appear somewhere in this game, so... Your favorites are going to help you out. Maybe Nicole Marie hit pay dirt when, when she wrote Three's Company. Maybe Seppi 1984 hit pay dirt with MASH. Mary Ansky said Laverne and Shirley. And Bookworm loved both the Six Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman. Why choose between the two of them? When you reach for your phone to play the game, do you ever go <laughs> like they did on the show? Also, Lucky Ducky Mama said love American style and Desiree Dow wants everybody once again to come aboard the Soul Train. I know I'm not the only one. We are just about ready to go here. So lock in all that TV knowledge. Be thinking about television even more than I do. I know I do. I probably you do too. But welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. Welcome back to that same old place that you laughed about. Because it's TV week here, and this is a 70s TV edition of Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Your brain will be moving on up to the side as you play for the piece of this pie, that grand prize, $1,000. And when you correctly answer 10 multiple choice trivia questions about 1970s TV shows, you will win your share of it. In this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one. Even if you've already been eliminated, for those of you who are new to the game, here is how that works. There are bonus SB on all these questions. When you get them right, you bank it. If you win the grand prize at the end of the game, all those bonus SB that you have banked are automatically added on top of your share of that $1,000. If you do not win the grand prize. All those banked SB will go away if you don't claim them once the game is ended by clicking the little claim button that appears. Point I'm making is no matter what, stick around till the end of the game so that you don't walk away with nothing. Nobody wants that for you. Also, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize. Two ways to do that. One is using SB. The other is with a free rejoin. And here's a tip for you. If you click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game is not happening, you can get free rejoins by watching videos. But this week is a second chance week. And that means you are getting three free rejoins for each game you play credited before the following game begins. Finally, each game, we give away a five, five people, five winners get a 100 SB prize. If they have won and claim at least one SB in the game, that's how you qualify. Here are the winners from Thursday, all of whom have been credited their SB already. Congratulations to you and to everybody else. I want to see your name up here too, so keep playing and claiming because next time the winner could be you. All right, folks, you know what time it is. It's time for this game to begin, so let's do just that with question number one. What TV sketch comedy institution premiered on October 11th, 1975? Is it The State, Saturday Night Live, or Fridays? What show could it be? 
When Johnny Carson decided that he didn't want Tonight Show's reruns airing on the weekend because that meant he could air them during the week and take more time off, NBC had to come up with a replacement show, and Lorne Michaels had just the thing for them, a little something called Saturday Night Live. You might have heard of it. SNL is the answer. 98% of you getting that one right, starting us out with over 16,500 people in grand prize contention. But I see stragglers coming in, so I think we're going to have over 17,000 people in grand prize contention. There's a movie coming out about it called Saturday Night, about that first night of television and of course the fact today on twitter was that the show was originally called nbc saturday night because howard cosell had a show called saturday night live and one of the performers on that show yeah that's right bill murray a guy who would come and be on the other snl maybe the only person who was a cast member on both let's move on to question number two now it is worth one bonus sb if you get it right here it is q2 on happy days which character would turn on the jukebox by hitting it was it Chachi, Potsy, or the Fonz? If you watch the Emmys, you saw this reenacted. He did it again. The show went from an ensemble comedy centered around Richie Cunningham and his family to stories that centered around the coolest guy around who could smack a jukebox to turn it on. The Fonz, of course. Hey, you knew the Fonz was the answer. 96% of you getting that one right. Well done. His cousin Chachi uh, did not do it, at least not regularly, and neither did Potsy or Ralph Mouth. Or Arnold. Or anybody else. That was or Pinky Tuscadero. That is the Fonz's thing. Well done. We are moving on to question number three now. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Linda Carter played the TV version of which superhero? Is it Wonder Woman, Supergirl, or Spider Woman? I told you, those of you who were here early, some of your favorites were gonna show up. At a time when the modern women's movement was in full swing, Linda Carter's portrayal of Wonder Woman became an on-air symbol of feminine strength. That's right. Wonder Woman! The whole world is waiting for you and the beauty you possess. Come on, change your mind and change the world, Wonder Woman. Well done, 98% of you getting that one right. We still have almost 17,000 people in grand prize contention. Love to see that. I also love to see you get another bonus SB right now if you can correctly answer question number four. Let's see if you can do it. Jack Tripper lives with roommates Janet Wood and Chrissy Snow in which 1970s sitcom? Is it Needles and Pins, Wait Till Your Father Gets Home, or Three's Company? Which show? Jack Tripper, Janet Wood, and Chrissy Snow. Because Mr. Roper doesn't allow unmarried men and women to live together in his building, Jack has to pretend he's not into women. Setting up all of the farce storylines that Three's Company would be known for. Meet me at the Regal Beagle, 99% of you. You knew that one was the answer. You can come and knock on my door. We've been waiting for you. That's right. Well done. Cruising through this game, we can move on to question number five now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is, Q5. In the 1970s TV show, Charlie's Angels, how did Charlie communicate with the angels? Was it by telegram, speakerphone, or Morse code? Hello, angels. Good morning, angels. You know, right? The angels can do anything, making them the perfect detectives to work for Charlie, who delivers his instructions via speakerphone. You never see his face. Speakerphone is the answer. 93% of you getting that one right. That was maybe a little bit more difficult, relatively. About 7% of you eliminated, but over half of those people, nope, even more, over three quarters of you coming right back in. That is what we like to see around here. And we are going to move on. We're already halfway done this game, folks. We're moving on to question number six. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Which of the following shows did not spin off from All in the Family? Is it One Day at a Time, The Jeffersons, or Maud? This is maybe a little trickier. If you don't know. If you do, you got it right, I bet. All in the Family is one of the seminal shows of the 1970s, and it spawned hit spinoff after hit spinoff, including the Jeffersons, including Maude, but One Day at a Time was not a spinoff of that show. 66% of you knew that that was the answer. Well done. Uh, the Jeffersons were their neighbors uh, until they moved to the east side. They moved on up to the east side, and Maude is uh, Edith's sister. An independent woman. That's right. Then there's Maud. 
Then there's Maud. The third of you got eliminated on that one. We had over 80% of you come right back in. Still over 15,000 people in grand prize contention. And we are moving on to question number seven now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Which character acted as the host and producer on The Muppet Show? Was it Miss Piggy, Gonzo, or Kermit the Frog? Which of those Muppets was the host of The Muppet Show and also the producer behind the scenes? He was literally wrangling animals backstage while trying to keep the audience engaged and manage the guest star for that week. No wonder Kermit the Frog always seems stressed. <laughs> Yay! Congratulations to 88% of you getting that one right. Well done. Miss Piggy was the star of the show, at least in her own mind. And uh, if she had her way, she would get out there on stage. And Gonzo, he was just a variety act. He was the weirdo. He ate the tire to the tune of, of uh, Flight of the Bumblebee. You all remember. All right, we're moving on to question number eight now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. We're almost done with this one. On chips, what vehicle do the officers use for patrolling? Is it helicopter, motorcycle, or minivan? On chips, what vehicle do the officers use for patrolling? CHIP stands for California Highway Patrol. And CHIP was kind of a standard action-packed police show, except way cooler because of the motorcycles. They were on motorcycles, of course. Ponch and, and John. Ponch and Larry. Ponch? Chip? Poncharello? Anyway, 97% of you knew that was the answer. Well done to you. Only two questions left in this one. The next one worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is question number nine. In the 1970s sitcom, where is the radio station WKRP located? Is it Boston, Los Angeles, or Cincinnati? WKRP. Outside of Thanksgiving Day, where you have to watch out for turkeys being tossed out of a helicopter, WKRP brings the hits to the city of Cincinnati. I'm living on the air in Cincinnati. 13,368 of you. You knew that answer. You are ready for our final question. But first, don't forget that this week is TV week all week long. That means free rejoins all week long, so keep playing these live games. Tomorrow will be a game all about 80s TV, all right? 80s TV, see if you know that one. Now, definitely play all week long, but also, I'm very excited to tell you about this. So excited, I'm not going to wait. You're not going to want to miss our name, our game next Monday when Solitaire Grand Harvest is sponsoring our biggest game of the year. It is a Peanuts-themed game with a grand prize of 750000 SB. That's $7,500 in free gift cards, PayPal cash, that kind of stuff. So mark your calendars right now and be there next Monday at this same time, 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Tell a friend you're gonna want you're gonna want to come and play this game. It is gonna be so much fun. And thank you, thank you, thank you to our friends at Solitaire Grand Harvest. That that comma is not in the wrong spot. It's 750 comma thousand SB. That is what the grand prize will be for that one. Also. Quick reminder that there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of our live games, okay? You know, I don't mean to be aggressive, but one is through our other game mode. That's the Daily Trivia Challenge. It's a quick, hostless version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice per day. But second is by clicking the More Ways to Earn button wherever you find it in the app. It is an absolute treasure trove, my friends. That is where the Tap Joy wall is. And you're going to want to do your Tap Joy offers every single day. You can check Daily Discover off your to-do list in no time. Quick, easy to complete offers. This is building a winning habit for you every single day. Come check the wall, earn some SB. It adds up quicker than you even think it does. All of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm in another gift card already. I can't believe it. And all of the ways I mentioned get you SB towards your daily goal. You want to get even more SB? Okay, elevate your laundry game with the all free and clear laundry care collection. Specially formulated for sensitive skin, providing a gentle yet powerful clean that leaves your clothes feeling soft and fresh. Say goodbye to irritating fragrances and dyes and hello to a pure, clean laundry experience with all free and clear. Add all free and clear to your list of magic receipts, then buy one eligible product in store at Walmart and get 100 SB when you upload a photo of your receipt as proof of purchase. But if you buy two or more on the same receipt, you'll get 250 SB back. Always good to stock up. Like getting two containers of laundry detergent is just a smart move because one runs out and then you go, oh, I've got to go to the store now. No, back yourself up, get two of them and get 250 SB. All right. 
Okay. I'm glad that we all had this talk and that you're going to do what I said. Congratulations. We have 13,572 people vying for a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. Over 18,000 of you have stuck around to the end, and there is one more bonus SB up for grabs. If you can correctly answer our final question, here is question number 10. What Saturday morning cartoon series featured lessons about grammar and civics? Is it Schoolhouse Rock, Jabberjaw, or Inch High Private Eye? What could it be? Even if you didn't see it live, you know about Conjunction Junction, and I'm just a bill, yes, I'm only a bill, and I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. Two of the most famous and biggest bangers in that Schoolhouse Rock catalog, Schoolhouse Rock, is the answer. 13,173 of you knew that answer, and you are splitting our grand prize today. Wow. Great job to all of you. Each of you taking home ADS being grand prize money, plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Ammo Kablamo, congratulations. Twins Brats, you are a winner. Half Century Mama, you did it. I am Monty Babonti. Yes. Yes. Or, or Lamonti La Babonti. Either way, congratulations. Congratulations to each of our grand prize winners and those of you who earn bonus SB and claim them. You know the deal. You can use these SB that you're accumulating to get PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. You only need to redeem them. Great job today. We'll see you tomorrow for our 80s TV game. Thank you for playing Daily Trivia Live, and we will see you then, my friends.